I'm Lori with Layman's, and today I'm going to talk to you about our Aladdin oil lamps. This is the Lincoln Drape model, but we do have many other varieties available as well, but they're all going to work the same way. So the difference between an Aladdin oil lamp and a standard oil lamp is going to be how the light is produced. So with a standard oil lamp, your light that you're getting is from the wick, but with an Aladdin lamp, your light is coming from the mantle, which is this piece right here. This is gonna allow the brightness of the lamp to grow exponentially. It's gonna be incandescing and very bright for you to read by. So these are great oil lamps to have handy uh, when the power goes out or to have as your normal lighting. We're gonna show you how to light your lamp. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top part off. So this is called the gallery. The gallery has your chimney and your mantle attached. What you're gonna do is you're gonna screw this off carefully and set it aside gently. So then you're going to turn your wick up just a little bit so you'll see your wick right here. And this is the part that you're gonna light. And you'll notice that the flame is glowing blue. That's a signature of an Aladdin lamp is that blue flame. And the reason it's turning blue is because of the flame spreader that's on the inside of the wick. It's feeding the wick with more oxygen, creating that blue hot flame. And that hot flame from the wick is then going to react with the mantle and cause it to glow. So you're gonna set it down just gently and screw it into place. And you can turn your wick up just slightly and it should start to glow. And then you wanna let it sit like this for about 10 to 20 minutes to let the entire lamp warm up gradually. You don't want your chimney to crack because of the temperature difference. You also just want every piece to warm up on its own gradually. And once you've hit that 10 to 20 minute mark, you can kind of test out your lamp to see if it's going to start to form black spots on the mantle or not. Then you know that you need to turn it back down a little bit. The Aladdin lamp actually has a large part in history to just changing the history of the way that lighting worked. Prior to the early 1900s, there were very dim oil lamps that couldn't light up the room as much as the Aladdin does. The Aladdin actually puts out enough light to equate to about six standard oil lamps. So with one lamp, you're getting a much, much brighter light. And so prior to the early 1900s, you couldn't really do anything when it was dark out. You came inside, you went to bed. With the Aladdin lamp, you could actually stay up past dark and you could read, you could quilt, do any activity that you would normally do in the daytime because of the extra light that you were getting. Another great benefit to having a, an Aladdin lamp in your home is the amount of heat that it produces. So if you do have a power outage in the middle of winter, not only do you get the light, but you're also gonna get a significant heat source that's gonna be able to heat up the room, keep you and your family warm. You can probably find any simple oil lamp at many of the big box stores that are out there, but at Layman's you can find all of the lamps and lanterns, plus all of the wicks, the chimneys, the globes, the mantles, the wire hangers, any parts that you might need, as well as the team members that are there to help you find the product that is right for you. These lamps and lanterns and many others are available on laymans.com and anywhere Layman's products are sold. Let us help you take the next step on your journey to a simpler life.